Lord Kudo, I, I'm sorry if I kept you waiting. Uh, uh. So, what do you think? Do I look all right? Uh, I'd say you're beautiful. <sighs> My friends, I am pleasantly pleasanted. Um, I have to admit, that's not even a word. Pleasanted? Imagine? Anyways, my happy marriage it is done, boys and girls. Episode 12 complete. And, you know, I'm going to tell you guys straight up, I loved every moment of this episode. The after credits part of it, I don't think was needed, but it was that nice little cherry on the top. The little sprinkles to make the birthday cake shine. The candle that got to be lit. The cream of the creme. The crust on the pie. I think it was that little extra oomph at the end. I don't think it was needed, but, you know, seeing Mew and, like, looking, finger licking good, kudo ready to eat, uh, definitely was something. I would have loved, um, maybe seeing a familial moment or something like that, but, hey, what we got, I definitely, definitely loved it. Uh, also... Best part of the episode, and I know it seems like they kind of glazed over it or they moved through it pretty quickly. Best part of the episode is Mio casually destroying the Emperor. <laughs> she blew homie up. Like, he, like dude, gone. Uh, one of the other guys, his uh, attendants or whatever, or maybe his children, uh, you know, they told us, like, hey, uh, you know, the Emperor was so obsessed with not being able to see what could happen and so obsessed with kudo and the power and the struggles that it was his own demise essentially well really mio gave him the the slap the slap adapt you know uh and blew homie up but that was definitely like the best moment of the episode uh also the second best moment of the episode was finally seeing Mio overcome herself, right? She has consistently been her worst enemy or her own worst enemy. And most of it is due to like, yo, the 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 mental gymnastics that you have to do to overcome the nauseating amount of trauma that this girl went through is like, wow. Like, it's crazy, but to have that fulfilled moment, not only as the seeing yourself in the character in the show, but that having that fulfillment moment as a viewer, being able to see this character that you can empathize and sympathize and see yourself and blah, 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 blah. Having that, that genuine moment of her overcoming herself so much so that she convinced her other version of herself that everything's going to be all right. Baby girl, I got you. We got us. And then that kind of awakens her powers. Like, she basically Sailor Moon dust, you know what I mean? Like, she, you know, she went in the name of the moon, you know what I mean? Like, I'll punish you. Like, she gave us that moment, too. Like, it was just so good. And, you know, at the end of the day, I can't speak highly enough of this show. This is going to be one of those shows that, like, people who stumble upon this show in a year, two years, three years down the line in the Netflix depths of hell or, you know, on the... Uh, blah 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 dot to site on an anime website as they're as they're combing through stuff to watch uh people who are looking for a good dub to watch the you know the thread that's going to get upvoted years from now on reddit of the gem that nobody watched the videos that the the dude the otaku dude made on on youtube that's going to get found years later those people are going to get a gem of an anime and people are going to speak very, very highly of this once it gets discovered more. The sad truth is not enough people are watching this anime. And I think anybody who's mildly interested in timepiece anime, in romance anime, in uh, mystical, magical type anime with a little romance flavor, which is a pretty broad genre, um, I think are just going to be blown away by this show. Uh, just like we were as we were able to be here experiencing it every single week. Fantastic dub. Fantastic sub. Really like just like really fantastic animation. Beautifully written. Beautifully drawn. Beautifully directed. Great tempo. Great tone. Uh, there was never a, a, a dull moment. Some episodes were better than others. But even the worst episodes are better than like 80% of the other an summer anime that we got this season. So, like, overall, this is one of the best shows this season for sure. For me, this season, honestly, at the end of at the end of this season and 
part of it is I didn't get, I didn't watch the new Bleach season yet. But if I remove the one that I didn't watch, out of everything, it's My Happy Marriage, Mashoko Tensei, and uh, the Heretical Last Boss Queen. I think those are my top three. The secondary one on top of it is Am I the Strongest? And you know those last two can kind of pivot and move. But this one's a, this was like. This is like so good. So anyways, our journey with Mio has been complete. Our journey with Kudo is complete. Their love story is 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 mended and they love each other and it's reciprocated both ways. Uh, let me know your final thoughts in the comments down below. I appreciate you guys, my friends, being with me all season long. I'll see you guys in the fall where we hopefully we'll have a better season than what we had. But hopefully we find at least one more gem like this one in the fall season. Check out my videos coming soon about fall. Um, try and make them very soon. Uh, busy, but anyways, I'll see you guys there. Peace out, my friends.